So today we're going to take a look at AC03 Torrin, who is a fourth party version of uh, Transformers Prime, well, first edition Cliff Jumper, aka Cliff the jo Rock Johnson, who pretty much uh, appeared in the first episode and got literally killed in uh, minutes. Because classic Hasbro always want to uh, save some buck. They didn't want to pay Dwayne the Rock Johnson that much money. So they pretty much killed him off, which was pretty much been done by Starscream, and then uh, he was pretty much turned into a zombie, aka a Terracon. Which is why the accessory is literally a uh, Dark Energon base, which they show the store literally state that it is literally a crystal base, which they're not wrong, but it's pretty much Dark Energon. And you can also see that these come separately, which is pretty nice that they give you these energon separately so you can attach them whatever you want or literally you just want to remove them if you want to use them in other ways either way to have this option as having it as a base but also uh, having them be removable is pretty damn nifty but enough then please let's take a look at the meat and potato of this review but before you do that Make sure that you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. And hit the bell to get notified when my next video is going to be released. You have no choice. And considering 98% of you have not even subscribed, which is a crime against humanity, subscribe. Have a night, my case orders. But other than that nonsense, the painting and sculpture of this overall, well, fourth party deluxe figure is absolutely stunning. For the most part. There's no argument that the, the first edition of uh, Transformers Prime Cliffjumper is literally the best uh, Transformers Prime Cliffjumper that we ever got. Doesn't matter if it's actually 100% accurate to the TV show. The fact that the engineering is top notch, it's but pretty much blows my mind. And I would know because I own the Transformers Prime R.A.D. version, which has some accuracy, but uh, it is a pretty inferior figure compared to this one. And even if it's literally a fourth party figure, aka literally a knockoff of the official, it's still pretty solid. Well, aside from uh, some wonkiness with some joints that, which out of the box, this joint was pretty damn loose, but, uh, and so just this lay, but uh, all you need to do is just screw it up a little bit tightly and then it will be fine. But uh, I also used a little bit of soup glue just to tighten up the joints a little bit, but not that much so you get it stuck. And I also added a little bit paint over the overall figure just to get it a little bit more stylish even for the feet. Which I added a little bit of silver and then red. Which it is not perfect but hey it's, at least it's a little bit more accurate to the overall well, TV CGI model. And of course I added a little bit of silver there on the forearm. Which uh, the original deluxe figure literally has it posed like this, which the overall CGI model looks like this, but uh, for the figure overall, he is literally one of the known Transformers that uh, was described as having gorilla arms. And uh, I own some figures that had gorilla arms. This is pretty accurate. But you can always fix it by literally rotating the overall arm and literally have it posed like so. And I'll talk about a little bit more about the wrist fold later on. But uh, for for the most part, everything is nice. But uh, a little bit uh, nitpicky that the overall torso doesn't even collapse that much for the torso. But uh, at least it's not cheating. At least, and of course, the overall horns are on soft rubber plastic. But uh, it is still solid enough, which is pretty good. Except for the overall face group that he literally looks like a goddamn dead person. Which is the reason why I'm gonna get the APC version and make this one into a Terracon later on. I mean, I know pretty much Cliff Jumper. He has some personality to him. But this face group just screams Terracon for some reason. Because he doesn't have... It's just a slight line and he looks kind of lifeless. Doesn't help that he has got a shitty light piping. But either way, it's the one f accessory, the one thing gimmick that he has that is incredible is that uh, if you literally rotate.
rotate the fist like inwards like so, just for the gorilla arm pose. You can fold it up and form his arm cannon that he has used in the one episode of the show and probably in the flashback with RC when he faced Shockwave and such. Now that looks awesome. Much better than the goddamn hammer weapon that the, the R.A.T. make an excuse for literally include. I mean, what the hell was that accessory anyway? And I know there are some people that uh, already criticize some the overall functionality of arm cannon, arm weapons and such. And uh, I pretty much prefer handheld weapons, but uh, I don't mind both. Both are pretty good. Looking at you, perspective end. Still like yourself, man. Well, enough wasting time. Let's take a look at the overall articulation, which uh, he he has a ball jump that he can move around, he, that can look up and down that far. Of course, his shoulder is literally on a hinge joint right here, and of course, can rotate 360 degrees with the help of ball joint. He has a bicep swivel, double joint at the elbow. Some reviews claim that he has no wrist swivel, but for this copy, at least, and some others, he has a wrist fall, which is pretty neat. And of course, he has no waist, but it is functional because if you untap it, untap the back, and then you can access a waist fall, which is more for the transformation, but it is a need that it is an option. But yeah, it goes to show that the overall actual car part is more be is much better than having fake parts. Oh yeah, forgot to mention about the fake part, the wheels on the, his fires, which I painted black and uh, yeah, a little bit more screen accurate. Anyway, he has a ball joint in the overall five that can kick out that far and that much. And of course he has a wonderful, a neat spread. He has single, well, not that much 90 degrees, but if you untap this panel that is a little bit... Uh, not that secured, but it is fixable. You can get a better knee bend. And of course, he has a toe up, down, and of course a pivot. Because this is literally on a ball joint. All I'm pretty much saying is, this is literally better than Earthrise Clip Jumper. Speaking of which, he had, here he is next to that little runt. Hey, look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, like out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Here's the cover! Stay dead. Here he is next to his partner in crime. And of course the custom R.I.D. version. He's AC Pal Bulkhead. APC Toys Optimus Prime. APC Toys Rampage. Who is a repaint and retool of the Transformers Prime Megatron. You know, the one that literally decapitated him in Terracon form. APC Toys Soundwave. And of course here we have it next to Big Fiber Bill Mocha. And of course AC Small Stars Godzilla. So yeah, he's pretty much an amazing looking figure. With some articulation that are pretty dated, but still better than the Earthrise one, for sure. But now let's get to transformation, shall we? First things first, you need to untap the chest panel. Then you need to unplug the tab on the back section. Then you need to fold up the panels for the front, gr front grill. Then you need to flip out the uh, two connected... Uh, Headlights and then bring them out. Actually, first things first, you need to bring that one down, which I forgot to mention. You need to bring that one and then uh, fold up the panels just the front from the front grill. Which kind of reminds me, the instructions literally is a pretty much the Ons Minecron cliff jumper. Well, the Terracon cliff jumper, you know, the purple one. What a coincidence! So, it's definitely going to be a Terracon once I get the APC one. Anyways, once you've done that, you can literally bring out the front grill and then you rotate the waist, collapse the upper roof, then you need to fold down the head, then you need to collapse the torso piece, or actually do that, and then collapse it all the way through. Then you need to flip out the shoulders together just to secure in place. Then you need to rotate the wrists just so it goes inward like so. Then you need to flip out the side panels from the alt mode and then you need to collapse it. Just so you can collapse it even further so you can uh, proceed the uh, pretty much secure the, the alt mode pretty well. And of course you need to have these tabs literally secured here. And of course the other one here. Simple as that. 
And then you need to secure, literally, well, secure it in place on top of this clear plastic roof panel, which is a bit risky and uh, is the only thing that I do not like. I wish it just was just pure well, red plastic with black paint on top, but whatever. Anyways, before we well miss out on and literally um, lo lose our track, oh, we need to unfold the overall side panels, literally the, the doors, and then you need to flip out the piece of glass, and then you need to flip flip in the feet. Same goes the other one, just so that you literally have everything in place. Then what you also need to do beforehand is to uh, unfold, well, hinge out the overall knees, just like so, so you can then rotate the feet uh, 180, just like so. And once you've done that, you need to make sure that these panels needs to tap in there, and of course, these doors need to uh, tap into this tab. So you can get everything secured, just like so. And here we have Cliff Jumper in his Wild West Porsche mode. And oh my god, I already love it. I mean, literally, this is literally a Porsche with literally bull horns on top of it. It literally just reeks Wild West. Literally just pure, pure country sports car. But yeah, I kudos to Hasbro, which I know this is a fourth party figure, but Hasbro was the one who literally done this copy beforehand and I must really give kudos to Hasbro for even attempting to make this actual Porsche and my goodness is this wonderful and of course he doesn't have the Autobot insignia on like the first edition one but uh, I already have like the rebel label so I can literally attach this one onto him need a little bit of customization but Either way, it's still a nice looking off mode, I must say. And of course, these uh, headlights that are painted here, but the ones on the side like here, they are uh, pretty much pre-painted. I did not add this one onto my own. This was literally pre-painted, which kudos to AC toys or AC for actually doing that. But yeah, it rolls pretty well for being a sports car, but uh you also need to make sure that these arms also fold in a little bit more. And now it moves well. Anyway, size for comparison, here we have him next to his Party in Crime R first edition RC. And it's out of scale. And it's the only one I'm gonna transform. Because, uh, yeah. Fuck you. <sighs> fine. Happy. And then we have him next to Mocha and Godzilla. Overall, I've... AC03 Torrent, aka fourth party cliff jumper, is pretty damn awesome. And I highly recommend it if you don't mind the mindless face. But of course, I would recommend getting the APC one, but uh, that one is pretty much sold out in Sochi Store, which I will link in the description below. But I think that's pretty much it for me. I hope. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, don't forget that you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You have no choice. You have to do that. And um, this is the time Cyber Night Mikey signing off. And remember, time will tell when the rock is cooking. That was fucking terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs>